Hey guys, back with another read aloud today. So I have a question. Who here has a sibling? Now a sibling means that you have a brother or a sister. It's okay if you don't have a sibling. If you don't have a sibling, you may have a best friend or a cousin that you can think about while I'm reading this book I'm going to read today. Well, I have a little sister. Her name is Miss Melissa. And Miss Melissa and I are different in a lot of ways, but we're also the same. And that's why today I'm going to read to you the book called Sisters. And it's about two sisters and the ways they are alike and the ways they are different. So as I'm reading today, I want you to think about, I want you to make that connection about someone in your life that may be a sibling, so a brother or sister, maybe a cousin that you're really close to, or maybe your best friend. Someone that you may be really different from or a lot alike. And I want you to think about the different ways that you are alike and you are different. So we're going to read Sisters. Written and illustrated by David McPhail. Sisters. This is a story of two sisters who in many ways were different. One was big and one was little. One liked to wear two different colored socks. One didn't like to wear socks or shoes at all. One liked baseball. The other found it boring. One's favorite food was pizza. The other preferred corn on the cob. She called it cob on the corn. One sister was crazy about frogs. The other wasn't. One liked to get up with the sun. The other would sleep all day. One liked to chase fireflies through the grass, while the other liked to lie back and look at the stars. The two sisters were alike in many ways, too. They both liked horses. and sugar snap peas, fresh from the garden. Both sisters like to help bake cookies. And to play in puddles. And a pile of leaves was never safe with those sisters around. They both liked to draw and to skate. And dancing was something neither sister could live without. They fought over the piano. and made up over tea. And both felt the day would not be complete without a swing after supper.
but the way they were most alike was the most special way of all. Because you see, they loved each other very much. So, now that you thought about your cousin or your brother or your sister or your best friend while we were reading their, that book, in what ways are you alike? In what ways are you different? Now, remember what it said. The most special way of all that they were alike was because they loved each other very much. And that's one very special way that my sister and I are alike. So we love each other very much. Some ways we are different is my sister is really athletic. Me, I've got to work at it. That's just something that we're different at. And that's okay because there are many ways that we are different, but there are also many ways that we're alike. One way that we're alike is we both love soccer. And we both love the Gamecocks. And we both love football. Those are some ways we're alike. Those are some things that we love. But it's okay to be different from each other and like different things. I love Disney World. My sister likes it, but she doesn't love it as much as I do. But that's okay. But the one really special way that we're both really alike is because we love each other very much. So what I want you to do is I want you to think of two ways that you and your brother, sister, cousin, best friend, whoever are, al are alike. What are two ways you're alike? And then what are two ways that you're different? And then, I want you to think about the most special way that you're alike of all. is because you love each other. Okay? So, you know what I would love for you to do? Is 